November 11th was almost exactly a year ago when we got a phone call, I think, from uh, the sheriff. There's a lady living, laying in the middle of the street. She looks like she got hit by a car. A passerby found Kristen Grinley abandoned in the middle of Pullman Albion Road. She was unconscious in a pool of blood. Her father says one man is to blame. I plead guilty. But Richard Pazma's Alford plea means he's only acknowledging a jury would find him guilty. You just would like him just to man up and say I'm, you know, guilty. Richard was adamant he didn't know uh, that she uh, fell from that pickup. Pazma's attorney says Grinley alone is responsible for her injuries. Any kind of, you know, it was Kristen's fault and she deserved this or whatever was, you know, is intimating in that, in that is, is ridiculous. Pazma's attorney filed a brief saying, in an obsessive and intoxicated moment, she climbed into the back of Mr. Pazma's pickup and somehow managed to fall out without his knowledge. He says a letter Grinley wrote explains why she did it. It says in part, quote, I need to control my alcohol consumption and I need to learn to walk away from a fight. I think it's pretty bizarre to think that someone would jump in the back of someone's pickup, you know, and I think that that letter, however, explains the sort of person that might do that sort of thing. What does that have to do with, you know, basically her injuries and then, and then, um, and then not providing the aid that she needed? The punishment Pazma faces doesn't seem adequate to the Grinleys, but at this point, they're ready for closure. Three to nine months, the standard, does that feel fair? You know, not really to us, no, but you know, we're happy to, to move on at this point.